Another liberal cabinet minister was called out today for breaking federal ethics rules by awarding two contracts to a friend she has known for nearly 20 years. CTV's Annie Bergeron-Oliver on the breach the opposition says is part of the government's pattern. Will the minister resign? Hours after the ethics report was released, the international trade minister was grilled in the House of Commons. I have taken and I am taking full responsibility for my actions. I should have recused myself and I'm sincerely sorry for not having done so. At issue, two contracts for media training granted by the trade minister's office to the public relations firm Pomp and Circumstance. One in 2019 for $5,840, the other in 2020 for $16,950. The firm is owned by Amanda Alvaro, a former Liberal staffer who has helped Ng on the election campaign and describes her as a, quote, dear friend. For the Conservatives, this is another Liberal vulnerability and you can bet your bottom dollar it'll be an attack ad uh, clearly focused on Justin Trudeau and his team and ethical problems. In his ruling, the Ethics Commissioner highlighted the two had known each other for 20 years. There is simply no excuse for contracting with a friend's company. Unfortunately, the Prime Minister has set the low standard and now his ministers are living by it. This kind of corruption, you know, not once but twice. In addition to Ng, former finance minister Bill Morneau broke federal ethics laws three times during the WE charity scandal. That was a year aggressive. In 2018, intergovernmental affairs minister Dominic LeBlanc broke the rules too, approving a business license for a company where a family member worked. Prime Minister, what discipline will Ng face for breaking The Prime Minister has violated ethics laws twice. In 2017, when he vacationed on the Aga Khan's private island, and in 2019, over his role in the SNC Lavalin scandal, when he tried Tried to influence then Justice Minister Jody Wilson Raybould. We thank the Ethics Commissioner for his hard work, and uh, the Minister spoke directly to that and has uh, uh, apologized in a statement. He's in a weird spot too, to the extent that what he's going to throw somebody out of cabinet because they they violated the conflict of interest act when he's he's found to have done so several times the ethics commissioner found that ing did not personally benefit from the contracts the ruling itself omar comes with no penalty all right annie thank you